In this PyQt 6 tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a PyQt app interface using Qt Designer. Alright, so Qt Designer is an editor or tool for designing and building PyQt UI interface. And if you want to get more information on the Qt Designer itself, you can go to uh, Qt Designer documentation or this web page, which I'll link the link in the description below. So below is the uh, interface or the UI that we'll be using to design a PyQt application. And this is basically everything I want to cover in terms of the uh, official website of the uh, Qt Designer itself. Now I want to get right into the tutorial. So to download the Qt Designer, I want to open the terminal first. So here let me activate my environment. And it's going to be uh, PyQt6. All right, so if you want to install the uh, Qt Designer, you want to use the command pip install pyqt5 hyphen tools. And once the Qt Designer is downloaded, you want to locate the tool. So let me go to my uh, pyqt6 uh, directory. If I'm using the default Python environment, I think the navigation is basically the same. So here I'm going to use the uh, search bar. Inside the search bar, I want to search for designer.exe. Right, so here I have one result. Now let me open the uh, location, file location. Right, so for my environment, my designer application or designer binary is saved under a loop site packages, Qt5 applications, Qt, Ben, and here's the application. And here I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shortcut. And I'm going to copy this shortcut to my project folder. This will give you a uh, quick access to directly open the Qt designer. So here let me open the Qt designer. So I'm going to double click. So on the left side, we have this uh, widget box. The widget box basically contains all the widgets you can insert to your uh, PyQt interface. And we move this to the left. On the top right hand corner, we have the object inspector uh, panel. So this panel will basically gives you all the information of your uh, widgets, which I'll show you in a second. And you'll have a uh, property editor, signal slot editor, action editor, and resource browser. So quite many things you need to uh, use or consider when you're building a PyQt application interface. So for my uh, previous video, we built a very simple uh, Hello application. And that looks like this. So here I already create a UI file. And I'll create everything from scratch uh, pretty soon. So here I'm going to cancel this. All right, so from the previous video, we created an application that looks like this. So on the top, we have an input field, a push button, and a text box field. But let me close everything. I want to start everything from scratch. Then I'll cover different uh, panels, such as property editor panel, action editor, and a couple other things. All right, so by default, we want to go to file, then click on new to create a new window. And here we have uh, a couple options. We have a dialog with a push button embedded in a different location. Then we have main window and widget. So for me personally, I only use a main window or widget, these two uh, templates. So here I'm going to select the uh, widget template. And here we can also change the window size based on the application type that you want to build. I'm going to set the uh, window size as default size. I'm going to click on create to create a new window. And this is going to be my application interface. So right now, if I use the shortcut, Control R. If I use Mac, then it's going to be uh, Command R. And that will launch the application. All right, so here I'm going to uh, go to File, New. And I want to create another template. And this time, I'm going to use uh, main window. I'll show you why in a second. 
Right, so one of the beauty with uh, using Qt Designer is that you can actually uh, create multiple interfaces in one setting. Now let's create our uh, interface. So from the widget box, here, let me expand the window. I want to insert input field. And PyQt is going to be line edit widget. I'm going to drag it over. And the push button. In a text box, so it's going to be a uh, text editor. And the difference between text editor and plain text editor is that the text editor widget will accept rich text, uh, basically text with different formatting applied. And here I'm going to uh, drag text editor to my window. I can merely expand the window size using my mouse. Right, so I think that looks pretty good. But I also want to uh, position all my widgets to the top left-hand corner. I'll resize my window. Now I'm going to use the shortcut Control R, or if you want, you can uh, go to, let me see. All right here, so on the form, you want to go to preview. And that gives you the preview of the application. All right, so here we have our uh, initial interface. And it's going to be the application we're going to uh, going to build. Now here, if you want to uh, grab some of the widgets, so I'm going to highlight all the widgets. I can actually uh, copy and paste onto my uh, main window widget. So in case if you want to uh, reuse some of the widgets uh, interface, then this is the way that you would do it. So we'll basically open uh, the UI file and create another UI file then uh, copy paste the widgets that I want to move over to the new template. And that's once I want to show you. Now let me close uh, the main window. And I'm not going to save the file. For the widget template, I'm going to save the file by using the shortcut Control S. I'm going to name uh, this file. I'll name this file as uh, GUI.UI. I'll just overwrite my existing file. Now let me close this window so I can go to file and close. So here, if I want to import the UI file, I can go to file, then click on open. But for me, that takes way too much time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my project window. Actually, not project window, project folder. And I'll drag my GUI.UI file. I'll just drag it over to my uh, designer. That also be another way to import a file. Now let's see. So here uh, on the left hand side, we have our uh, widget box. And if we want to change some of the uh, properties of our application or widgets. So here, let me drag this over. Now assuming that I want to change the window size to, uh, let's see. So the window size is going to be under geometry. So I can change the width value to 300, the heights to a still 500. So unfortunately, you cannot uh, resize all the widgets all together. So here, if I try to do that, you will only uh, resize the last widget that uh, uh, the slash and locates. So here, what I need to do is I need to resize everything manually. And a couple other properties we can uh, configure, uh, such as the minimal size, if you want to change the default font style. And a couple other things we can uh, configure. And the properties in purple are the properties only associated to uh, the text editor widget itself. Now let's look at objects better panel. So I'll move this right here. And I'll put this back. And I'll put this on the top. All right, so, so the object inspector panel or window will list out all the widgets you have available on your interface. So currently uh, on this uh, PyKit application, inside the uh, key widget class, 
I have my、uh, child widgets. So here we have queue line editor widget, push button, and text box. So class column indicates the widget type, and the object column is the name of the widget. So if I want to change the、uh, input field object name from line editor to、uh, input, and it's going to be the name later on. We're going to reference when we write our Python script. And let's name the push button to、uh, button. And let's call this、uh, output. And that's for the object inspector panel. Let me move this to here. And the last item is the、uh, action editor. Alright, so for this one, I need to use a、um, main window. So from the main window、uh, template on the top, we can create our menus. So here I'm going to type my、uh, main menu file, and under the、uh, file menu, I'm going to create my sub menu. And let's call this an open and close. Alright, so noticing that、um, every time I insert a new item under the file menu, a new action item is created, and this one is associated to uh, this uh, open sub menu, and action close is associated to uh, the close sub menu. Now, if I double click on one of the actions inside the editing screen or window,、uh, these are some of the settings that we can configure manually. We can insert new icon theme. We can change the tooltip text. And if once, we can also change、uh, the object name or the display text. So if I want to change from open to open file, I can do that here. And let me see what else. Oh, we can also assign shortcut. And that's basically if someone to cover in terms of using Qt Designer. All right. So let me close the main window、uh, template. Now I'm going to save the、uh, GUI.UI file. Now going back to my project folder, I want to create a new Python script to create my、uh, PyQt application. And I'll name the script demo.py. So here let me insert my code snippet, and let me put、uh, the Qt Designer、uh, side by side. So if I want to import、uh, the UI file, so from PyQt6, I want to import the UIC function. And noticing that here,、uh, I have my resize method. I'm going to comment out these two lines because that's going to override my default、uh, GUI size. I also want to comment out these two lines, so I don't want to、uh, set my default layout. I want to use the layout、uh, based on the、uh, UI file that I created. So inside my app class, I want to load、uh, the GUI.UI file when I launch the application. So inside my constructor, I want to insert the UIC function that load UI. I want to insert the、uh, file name GUI.UI, and to link the、uh, file to my application, we need to insert the、uh, cell reference. Now, if I launch the application, and here I need to、uh, activate my environment. And here's what the application looks like. If I launch my preview window, these two interfaces look a little bit different, and that's because、uh, in my application I'm actually、uh, overriding the CSS style sheet. So let me comment that out. Alright, so everything looks about the same. Now let's say that you are unsatisfied with.、Uh, The interface. You want to、uh, maybe a couple more widgets, or you want to resize the window. So here, while the、uh, Qt Designer is still open, with the file still remaining. So here, what I can do is I can change the UI directly inside the Qt Designer. I'll delete the label widget. And maybe I'll insert another push button. And it's gonna be、uh, push button number two. And last name this is、uh, button two. 
and save the uh, UI file. Now, if I run the application from my Python script, and because my interface is based on uh, using the UI file, so whenever I change uh, the UI file design, it's going to reflect in my Python script as well. And let me show you one more thing. If we open the UI file as a regular file, so essentially the Qt designer file or the UI file is just basically a bunch of uh, XML properties put in together. So if you want to add a new widget or if you want to change some of the properties directly, you can do that using XML as well. So let's say if you want to change the uh, push button width to I think this one is for uh, button one. Let's look for button two. Now let's say I want to change the button width for uh, button two to, let's do uh, 500. And I'll save the file. And I'll run the application for my, using my Python script. And here the uh, push button width is going to reflect the, uh, the width value that I just updated. All right, so let me um, put everything back. So I'll delete this uh, push button. And we can finish the application. All right, so here I want to uh, give my application a title. So using the set window title method. And I'll name this application, my app. And if I want to reference uh, different widgets, so here from the from the uh, object inspector window, want to locate the widget that I want to uh, configure. And let's say I want to uh, configure the input field, give me a, a default text when I launch my application. So from self that followed by the object name input that set text, and I'll type hello world, and I'll insert the text hello world when I launch my application. And to finish the application, here, let me delete all the unnecessary stuff. So I'm going to create a function called uh, say hello. And I want to grab the text from uh, the input field, and it's going to be uh, input. So self the input. The text. And I'll name the output as input text. I want to print a message in the uh, text box. In the text box, object name is output. So from self the output that set text, I want to insert message hello, followed by the input text value. And the last thing we need to do is we need to uh, connect this uh, say hello function to our push button. So it's going to be self dot button dot click dot connect. And I want to insert the say hello method. And that's it. Right, so if I launch my application, I'm going to type my name, J. And I'll click on push button. And that's going to print the message, hello, J. And here, if I want to change the uh, font size, I can actually override the CSS style sheet in my Python script. So I'm going to set the uh, default font size to uh, 25 pixel. And for the push button, I'll set the uh, default font size to, let's do uh, 15 pixel. And this time my font size is much bigger. Right, so here, hello J. All right, so this is something to cover in this uh, QD Designer tutorial video. And hopefully you guys found the videos for. And again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.